let's study about multiple images in a thick mirror strip children when you stand in front of a plain mirror you see a single image of yourself isn't it but if you stand between two parallel mirrors you see infinite images that is to see multiple image you need to be between two parallel mirrors now the interesting thing is that if you stand in front of a thick plain glass plate and view obliquely then also you will see multiple images interesting isn't it now when an object is observed through a thick mirror it is silvered at its back a large number of images are obtained actually a thick plane mirror consists of two surfaces one silvered and other unsilvered rather to be precise top is unsilvered from where reflection and refraction takes place whereas bottom is silvered and light gets reflected from this surface to sum up light suffers multiple reflections and refractions leading to formation of multiple images now let's see how these images are being formed so over here you can observe a thick mirror strip now this is the mirror strip which you can observe and you can see that this is this surface is the unsilvered one and the back surface which is showing these lines is the silvered surface let's say there is an object o over here now if you want to know where the images are being formed we need two rays let one ray fall normally on the mirror then obviously you know that it retraces it just moves inside the mirror right and it is going to get reflected since it has fallen normally we can extend it back and now let there be another ray which is falling obliquely on the surface when this ray falls at this point then only 4 to 5% of the light is reflected here the reflection is reflection is taking place but most of the light 95% of the light is refracted inside and it reaches at this point so when you are looking from here you will see an image i dash being formed now this light this light which got refracted from here the since it is falling on the silver surface will be completely reflected back and will reach at this point from where since it is falling on a glass surface a small portion will be reflected back whereas the other maximum portion is going to be refracted so when you are seeing then you will be observing this image i dash then at this point again the light gets reflected light had got refracted and it reaches this point from where it gets reflected and this way you will observe that every time it keeps on suffering multiple reflections and refractions so you will find image i1 i2 and so on being formed depending upon the intensity of light now out of all the images the second image is the brightest actually the first image is formed by reflection at the first surface which is unsilvered surface of the mirror the second image is formed after reflection from rare silvered surface which sends maximum amount of light rest of the images formed are due to 
internal multiple reflections which occur inside the mirror. These images contain lesser amount of light and so their intensity gradually decreases. Well, the total number of images formed depends on the size of glass plate and smoothness of its surface. Multiple images are observed only when one looks obliquely in the mirror strip. What it means is that you have to look from the sideways, not from the front. If you look in the front, the images will be one after another and you will it will appear to you as a single image. And a very important note, which is often questioned also, the second image is the brightest, not the first. The second image is the brightest because it is due to the light which is strongly reflected from the bottom silvered surface.